Now, in Nigeria, where campaigning for the presidential election in February is now underway, a surprise candidate is making waves in his effort to unseat the old guard. Peter Obi, a former state governor, is marked to change Nigeria's political landscape with promises of reform. He's spearheading movement his supporters are calling the obedience. DW's Flourish Chukura reports. Street pastor Anthony Abakboro is preaching a different message today. His sermon is about Peter Obi, one of the candidates in Nigeria's upcoming presidential elections. He says he's desperate for change in Nigeria. Things are very bad. A lot of things are bad. The roads, schools are not on as we speak right now. Everything that has to do with the welfare of humanity is bad. But we are going to put our resources, we are going to put our money, we are going to put our time to ensure he gets there for the new Nigeria. We can't continue like this. The call for a change is echoed among millions of young people and is driving support for Peter Obi across the country. His support base is so strong that it has been termed a movement. The obedience movement started with young people who here in Nigeria are described as the coconut head generation. They are strong-willed, independent-minded, and contemptuous of older politicians who have done nothing for them. We the youth, we are, we are, we are not moved by the, by, by the temptation to, call, to collect bribe of money in, 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 in order to forfeit our, our destiny again for another four years. Anybody that can do the job, that can take Nigeria forward, is what we need right now. Many believe that the obedient movement is a continuation of the NSAS protests of 2020, when thousands of young people took to the streets demanding an end to the SARS police unit. It was notorious for assaulting, extorting and killing innocent people. Just like NSAS, the obedient movement is decentralized, community